everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Baby Doll by Holly Overton. This was with the Peru's Utopia Book Club for the month of August. And this was a psychological crime thriller and it was something completely out of my comfort zone. I don't read a lot of that genre. However, this book was very unique. It was very good. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and I think it was fantastic. It was written so beautifully, I think. I had never read a book anything like it. Um, so, pretty much this, if you guys don't know what this book is about, it follows our main character, Lily, and she was kidnapped at the age of 16, and she was held hostage for eight years. Now, during this time, she was, I guess she was held hostage for eight years. She had a child named Sky with her captor, Rick. Now, Rick also happened to be one of her teachers at the high school she went to, which was just strange to hear, and I'll talk about more of that in a second, and uh, one day Rick leaves the door unlocked, and Lily and Skye are able to escape, and they go to find her mother and her sister, Abby, and it's pretty much about what happens after she escapes her journey to becoming somewhat normal again afterwards. I think it was just so different. I had never read a book anything like that. So I get, uh, so I really like the bond between Lily and her sister, Abby. I think since they're twins, they have a very strong bond, and it was really cool to see that throughout the book. Now, however, <laughs> Abby was having an she was cheating on Lily's boyfriend, with, um, she was cheating with her, Lily's ex-boyfriend, now ex-boyfriend, and I just thought, wow, that's strange, and she's pregnant pretty much through the entire book, I'm like, Wow, what a turn of events. Now, um, we get to see four perspectives in this book. We get to see Lily's perspective, we get to see her sister Abby's perspective, and we get to see her mother's perspective, and we get to see her captor Rick's perspective. Now, again, I really enjoyed Abby and Lily's perspective. I think they were really important to the story. The mother's, I don't think was that important. And I talked about this in my review on my blog, which will link in the description box below for you guys to go check out. I just kind of thought it was unnecessary in some aspects to have because there was an affair going on with the mother, and I don't that didn't play any sort of role in the story, and I don't know why it was thrown in there, but the parts that were written is kind of unique, uh, the way they were written from a mother's perspective. Again, I didn't think they were necessary, but I did like how they were written. Rick's perspective was like that was again really important to the story. I didn't like Rick at all. I think he was kind of a jerk or part of my language an ass. I just did not like him. I wanted him to die throughout the entire book. I'm like, will you just die already? I don't say that about a lot of characters, but this one was just one of them I had to. I'm like, will you go away already? And now, uh, the turn of events at the end of the book, when Abby, Lily's sister, and they're at the trial for Rick, where he's going to be um, I think it's given life in prison. And Abby decides just to end uh, Lily's suffering and kill Rick. And I was like, wow, that was a shock. Because Abby had just had a baby, and I was like, this is this is crazy. Uh, I did not see that coming at all. Overall, I really did enjoy this book, though. Um, towards the end, I didn't, I think it did drag a little bit, and that's why it kind of brought my rating down to a 4 instead of a 4.5 or a 5 on Goodreads, because I just think it just dragged, and I didn't think some parts were necessary to the story at, towards the end. But the rest of the story was fantastic, um, and that's why I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, I want to thank Holly Overton for reviewing my blog post about the book, and she actually tweeted about it on Twitter, and I will link her Twitter in the description box below, because you guys, she is fantastic, she's a great author, highly recommend you guys go check out this book. My social media links will be in the description box below, below as well. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, as well as my blog, um, which is always linked in the description box below, and I will talk to you guys on Monday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!